Okay, hi guys. Um, we have probably teleported because, well, I was recording and got everything to work. You know, I was doing the video, usual part 7, got through all that stuff, got 19 minutes of footage, and then I open up the friggin' footage, and you know what happens? My voice isn't loud enough. And you know what, I've had this problem with Fraps before, because when I first got it, playing Labyrinth and Haunt, my voice was so quiet because I didn't know how to configure that stuff. So I figured out to turn the volume down and down in fraps in your volume mixer, and you know what, the game volume will go down and your voice will be louder. So I got that configured, I did my test videos to make sure my voice was louder, I get done with the freaking recording, and open it up, and my voice isn't loud enough, I'm just like, why? Why isn't my voice loud enough? And for some reason, my volume turned up. I didn't turn up my volume. I didn't. Like, I didn't physically turn up my volume. Something happened. And when I turned up my speaker volume, that turned up the Fraps volume, which totally screwed my voice over. So I'm a little pissed right now. You know, I wanted to do this, like, I wanted to continue this um, Majora's Mask Part 7 to relax, but I can't be fucking relaxed right now when Fraps is being a piece of shit. Jesus fucking Christ, this... Freaking technology sucks ass sometimes. Must be this fucking difficult. Shouldn't be. Anyway, bunch of bullshit. All right, well, you know what? Let me explain. Okay, so we're at the Deku Palace. Um, I think we got the piece of heart in that one garden area last time. So we go the other way through that tunnel. There's the garden place. Got to dodge the guards, and then there's a hole. And there's this dude with the beans down there. And I can't replay this, by the way, because um, I didn't make an extra save state for that area because I'm on an emulator, so I can't simply just replay that. I would, but I can't. So I'm sorry. Anyway, you go down the hole, and there's this dude that sows you magic beans, and when there's like these patches of soft soil... Um, you plant them in, you put some spring water on, it grows the beans, and take it up to high place. So you get to the upper part of the Deku Palace. You go along, you get into this chamber, you free the monkey. Wait, no, you don't free the monkey. But the monkey teaches you a song to um, unlock the first dungeon of the game. And that's where I'm at right now. I'm in Woodfall, which is like the spring. Like that volcano-looking place that you saw when I entered the southern swamps. That's what I'm in right now. And perhaps it should work. Hope it does. It's friggin' like it's literally at least a hundred degrees in my room because it's in the middle of the summer. I live in a town called the Dalles. It's in like pretty low. Um, it's kind of like in a valley, like hills all around it. So it gets super hot down here, and it's so hot in my room, and I can't put my freaking fan on um, because it screws my microphone. But anyway, let's just let's, let's do this. Did three minutes of. Half ranting, I guess. Yeah, ranting, basically. And here's the song. Anyway. Um, sorry I haven't been doing videos lately. It's just... School started. Oh, wait. The temple's already open. That was... That was the song. But, um, yeah. School started. And, you know, I just... Kind of get into the swing of things again with school. So I haven't really been wanting to do videos at all. But, you know, I've been, um... I've, I've been playing Battlefield 3 quite a bit, and, um... Like, I find the game super fun. I'm a level 19 now. Um... So I've gone fairly far into the game. And I do pretty good. I'm starting to kill more people than I am dying. And some matches will be really good where I'll just do awesomely. And then some, some matches I'll just do, like, it's not even me, it's the admin is a total douchebag. And he'll put all the really good players on, oh shit, on one team and then let the, uh, like, on the admin's team, he'll place all the good players on his team and then totally kick everyone else's ass. And the first I got on the good team I was just like, yeah, this is okay, I'm doing good. Um... And then, freaking when I'm respawning one time, uh, I respawn as the other team, the 
the American team, and I, I, I did all right. Um, we kept trying to have to fight for the Alpha base. They had all the other bases the other team did. All the other bases. It was like 800 to 100 or something like that. Totally unfair. But that's that's the one. Like I really like Battlefield 3. It's a fun game, but the admins on the public servers can be such douchebags sometimes. Like when they're tr when they're saying, "Oh yeah, I'm gonna balance out the team." No, you're being a jackass. The teams were fine before. You're just trying to get more kills. So you're a total dickwad. Whatever, it's your server. I guess you can do whatever the fuck you want. It's your freaking god. So I was just like, I got, I got really pissed off. So um, you know, I'm just like, you know, might as well do a freaking video. There's nothing else to do. It'll be relaxing, and it, it, it's not relaxing because Fraps is being a bitch. I'm not in a very good mood right now. But can I get all the fairies in that room. Yep. You gotta get all the fairies, you get a special sword technique. It's kinda just like uh, in Clock Town. It's kinda like in Clock Town where you get that one fairy, except there's 15 fairies in each dungeon. Or temple, I guess they, they call it now. Zelda. And, um, there's quite a few fairies in there, but you gotta get 15 throughout the temple. Then you go to, like, a cave or something. It's already 5 o'clock of the second day. I hope we can get through this temple without getting to the final day. That suck. Losing all the stuff. So, yep, there it is. That part right there. I think that's all the fairies you can get on this floor. Yeah. So, uh, high school started up again. I'm a sophomore now. It's different being a sophomore. Um, I don't know. Cause like when I was fresh, when I was freshman, I'm just like, like it was super scary. I was just like, oh god, I'm, I'm at the bottom of the like. I was top dog in middle school, even though I was a total fucking loser in middle school. Actually, that's a whole different story. Um, no, sorry. But it's you. You go from being like in the top grade in middle school, and then you're. Bottom of the bottom of the barrel, I guess. I don't know. Bottom of the fish tank. I don't know how they. I don't know what the thing is for that. So that was pretty scary my first year, and then coming back, like the summer, the high school summer was so different. Like, like it didn't seem like a summer. Oh shit! Do I have bombs? Please tell me I have bombs. Yes, I have bombs. Thank goodness. You know, you go. You go from being at the bottom. I mean, the top to the bottom. Uh, it was a, it was scary, but then, when the summer came, and I'm just like, yeah, summer with my friends. I'm, all my best friends um, are gonna be going to the high school now. It's gonna be cool. Um, and then last day of summer came. And I'm just like, summer seemed different. Something was different last summer. Like, it just went by so fast. I guess it's because I'm getting older. Stuff goes by faster, you're more busy all the time and stuff. Um, and now that school has started again, I'm just like, yep, school again. Going day after day. After doing this video, I'm a get in my bed, watch a few videos, go to sleep, school's gonna start all over again tomorrow. That's gonna be it, and then summer's gonna be here again. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be looking at back at the year being like, yep, summer's here, and then summer's gonna be over, I'm gonna be a junior. Then my junior year's gonna be over just just super fast like that. And then I'm gonna be friggin' college. College is gonna be over with, I'm gonna be an adult. You know, it's just gonna keep going faster. I, I, I think it's gonna keep getting faster. But I, I don't know. I'm a, I'm a total loser in high school too. Um, I, 
Like, I, I want to have a girlfriend, but, like, interacting with people, like, 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 if I, like, going on dates with someone or something, and, like, like, that's not even, like, the worst part for me, it's just, like, I'm just, like, jeez, man, I have, a, I have a girlfriend, people are, like, like, I'm, I know this might seem really shallow, but, like, I don't know, like, I'm, I'm super, like, um, I don't know. I just, I find those types of social, social interactions, I can't do it. Like, it's just too... I just can't. I simply can't. Oh, I kind of, like... I don't know, I feel like... I'm just a total fucking loser. Um, I don't know. You guys, um... Uh, I'm, I'm hard on myself a lot. Um, whenever I accomplish something, I'm just like, yep. Like, whenever I learn a new song on my guitar, I'm just like, yep. Learn a new song. Congratulations. You didn't do... You, you learned one song. After two times playing, you're not even going to think it sounds cool anymore. Um, I don't know. Oh, shit. Oh. If you guys are adults watching this, I don't know why you'd be an adult watching a teenager play a video game. Because, like, I'm probably, like, super immature compared to more adult things. Honestly, uh, people say, like, um, one thing that I kind of hear, I'm not sure, like, I don't know. I don't know how to put this. It's that, um, like, I know there's a transition from, like, childhood to adulthood, like, you gotta get a job, have a ton of responsibilities, but, like, mindset-wise, I don't think it's gonna be that different, like, I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna be an adult, and I'm gonna be, like, I'm gonna be thinking somewhat the same way I am thinking now, you know, I'm gonna, I'm not, I'm not, I don't know. I, I don't know how to explain that. It's just kind of like, uh... I really don't know, man. Probably said I don't know about 50 freaking times, but... Dude, why don't you freaking die? Ow! Oh yeah, um, I was in one of my periods today, it was, uh, Music Tech, I think, yeah, it was Music Tech, and, uh, one, I guess one of my friend Scott's, um, one of my friend Scott's friends, Caleb, um, sat behind us, you know, I, guess kind of kind of said, hi. I said hi and stuff, um, and Scott, then Scott and I were talking about, like, do, like, recording videos and stuff, you know, for Solitary Street Gaming. And, like, um, I'm talking about, like, doing my Legend of Zelda and stuff, and then Caleb says, um, do not watch playthroughs of friggin' Outlast. It's the scariest shit ever. And I'm just like, hmm, sounds interesting. Um, so he told me all about it and stuff. I've, I've already, ex I've already explained this in my previous recording, but perhaps was a total dick. And my voice was too low. Anyways, they told me all about it, and I think it's the type of game that would scare me shitless. Like, I would get scared shitless from it. So, Josh, or Milo, I know Josh, you're going to be joining Solitary State Gaming soon. I think right, that's at least what Milo told me, or Scott, or something. But, um, Milo, Scott, anybody plan on doing videos, don't play Outlast, because I want to play Outlast. That, I, I reserve Outlast for me. I think that's what the game's called. But, yeah. It'll be fun to get, to get this crap scared out of me. I'm pretty sure I remember where all the fairies are in this country. But, um... I, I'm gonna stop talking for a second. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna relax for a second. Is that okay with you guys? Sissy's gonna stop talking, but doesn't stop talking. 
I can't step there, I gotta double step. I've, I was freaking um, watching Battlefield 3 trolling, and um, it, it sounds like I'm a total Call of Duty fanboy right now. Trust me, I'm not. What Call of Duty fanboy? I mean Battlefield fanboy. I'm not a Battlefield fanboy. Um, I've played Call of Duty. Call of Duty is freaking fun as hell. They're two completely different games. They're completely different play gameplay styles. Battlefield is more of like huge maps, um, vehicles and stuff. Uh, more, a little more teamwork based. Call of Duty's kind of just like go out there, friggin' annihilate everyone. Smaller maps. Both are friggin' awesome. I like both of them. Um, but I hate it when people say Battlefield 3 is like Battlefield 3 is like the war simulator. It's not. If you want a war simulator, the closest thing you're gonna get, I'm guessing, is like Operation. Uh, I forgot the name of that game, but. Opera it's like Operation something, and then there's Arma and Arma 2, and soon to come out Arma 3. Alright, let's kill all these bows. Yeah, I don't like I don't like Battlefield fanboys and I don't like Call of Duty fanboys. Both are annoying as hell. In fact, I don't like fanboys in general. You know, you're letting your emotions getting in the get in the way of um, you know you, you become super biased when it comes to being a fanboy. I used to be a Nintendo fanboy, but I learned my ways not to be a fanboy. That is, um, remember Scott was telling me, no, you're, you're not a fanboy. You're a smart fanboy. No, I'm not a friggin' fanboy. Fanboy is someone who is super biased in his opinions um, and only says something is better because he lets his emotions get in the way and he thinks uh, better in general. Fanboy. I'm not a fanboy. Okay. I don't like being called a fanboy. Wait, did I get all the friggin' code? Yes, I did. Armed. I got a fairy mask on and I'm armed with a Deku stick. Don't fuck with me, I'll fuck you up. Okay. Yeah, there's no fairies in here. Let's see if I can knock this so I can get this guy's attention. You know, it's funny, because these are called dragonflies, but this game was made in Japan. So I wonder if they were just like, hmm, what should we name these monsters? And they were just like, hmm. English language, Western culture, dragonflies. They look like dragonflies. Let's call them a dragonfly. That's maybe that's what happened. I don't know. Probably not what happened. Oh well. There's anyway, um, I talked about that in my first recording, but perhaps it's a huge thing and didn't do that. I think I'm gonna. No, 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 no. Why? What am I doing, Ethan? You're a freaking retard. You're gonna have to do it. All over again? Yes! You made it. Jesus Christ. Okay. Watch this. Watch this, watch this. He's gonna come try and attack me. I'm gonna try and do it. And... Oh, whoopsie. There's a way to do it where you jump out of it. Oh, fuck it. Please. Please, 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 yes! There's where you do it, where you jump out. You jump right on, like, you, like, just jump right on him. You know, it'll kill the guy. Like, you jump out of it, and then, like, you hit him and he kills him. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, my, Yuichi, um, starting to do, what'd you say? Ocarina of Time playthrough. Um, normally I'd be like, no, you cannot do an Ocarina of Time playthrough. Ocarina of Time is my thing. I do not let you. But I, I've played Ocarina of Time so many, like, I've replayed it so many times. Um, and I, I just recently replayed it too. So I'm just like, yeah, go ahead, dude. Just, just friggin' play it. But 
Then after I told him that, he's just like, good, because I started playing it anyway, I'm just like, oh, alrighty then. Don't ask me if you can play Zelda game beforehand. Just go ahead and do it yourself. Jackass. No, I'm just kidding. My well, I'm just, I'm just kidding. My well, I'm just messing around. Seriously, don't fucking do it again. I'm just, kidding. I'm just messing around. With it. Um. Yeah. Oh, there's a. Ah, uh, guys, I'm gonna save. It's like at 20 minutes now. There we go. Um. So yeah. I'll continue. I'll do another playthrough right after this. Um, so long. I'll feed her soon. Catch you guys on the flip side.